हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव गॉट अ न्यूमेरिकल गिवन द फॉलोइंग आईआईआर फिल्टर वाई ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट टू टाइम्स एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस पॉइंट फोर टाइम्स एक्स ऑफ एन माइनस वन प्लस पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स वाई ऑफ एन माइनस वन डिटरमाइन द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन नॉन जीरो कोफिशियंट एंड द इम्पल्स रेस्पॉन्स सो लेट एस बिगिन विद सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इजिएस्ट न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म सो इफ यू नो द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वाइट इजिली आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड सो दैट वी डोंट लूज एनी मार्क्स ऑन दिस न्यूमेरिकल so what i have to do first first what i have to take the z transform on the given difference equation take z transform so if i do that things become quite simple y of n z transform of that is nothing but y of z correct is equal to 0.2 times we have x of n x of n would lead to x of z after taking the z transform plus I have 0.4 times x of n minus 1. That would lead to z to the power minus 1 x of z. Correct. Similarly, 0.5 times y of n minus 1. Now that would lead to z to the power minus 1 into y of z. So how is that possible? That depends on. That is based on the time shifting property of the z transform. in this numerical this step itself is very important rest all is quite simple what i have to do is i have to regroup the terms containing consisting of y of z terms on one side and x of z terms on another side therefore i would keep this y of z then there is uh, another y of z term over here so i would take it here to the lhs i would get the point 5 times z to the power minus 1 y of z is equal to so keep the rhs as it is 0.2 times x of z plus 0.4 times z to the power minus 1 x of z so now here i would take y of z out and i would be left with 1 minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 is that right yes that is equal to here i would take x of z out what i am left with i will be left with the point 2 plus point 4 times z to the power minus 1 so now i can get the expression for the transfer function transfer function is nothing but h of z which is equal to y of z the output divided by the input which is x of z x of z so what should i uh, what i have to do to get y of z divided by x of z x of z uh, move this to the lhs and whatever the term we have that we take it to the rhs so that the transfer function becomes 0.2 plus 0.4 times z to the power minus 1 this gets divided by we have in the denominator 1 minus 0.5 times z to the power minus 1 so this equation whatever h of z we have now this we call it as the transfer function let me just put that in a box yes this is the expression and this we call it as the transfer function we were looking for transfer function and we got the transfer function now so now i can get the impulse response from this straight away by taking inverse z transform so to get impulse response so let me write that impulse response this is quite straight forward impulse response so whatever i have uh, here this equation i would call it as equation number 1 uh, taking inverse z transform so i said taking inverse z transform of h of z before that i'll just rearrange 
the term h of z this is equal to this is 0.2 plus 0.4 z inverse divided by this denominator so i just uh, split the terms 0.2 this gets divided by we have a term in the denominator so oh, what is that it is 1 minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 is that fine plus we also have 0.4 times z to the power minus 1 so this also gets divided by the same denominator which is 1 minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 so what I have to do now so now I can actually take the inverse z transform so what do I get 0.2 is a constant I would write this 1 divided by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse what is that so if we know the z transform of alpha to the power n z to the power minus 1 what is, uh, it is u of n alpha to the power n u of n z transform of this what is that which is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse is that fine in place of alpha now we have 0 0.5 that is the only change so I would write a point of 5 to the power n u of n is that fine that is with respect to the first term plus this also looks the same 0.4 is the constant let me write that then I have 1 divided by 1 minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 so this also would lead to 0.5 to the power n then we have u of n but if I look there is z to the power minus 1 term in the numerator that is because of the time shifting property therefore wherever n is there I have to replace that with n minus 1 so with that it will be done so u of n is here u of n minus 1 I have to do this only with respect to the second term because z to the power minus n is there in the numerator only with respect to the second term so ultimately I would get the expression for impulse response or something like this so this is uh, the next second one whatever has been uh, asked the impulse response so now we have found the impulse response let me just put that also in the box so we are done with this so what is left out left out thing is uh, non-zero coefficients non-zero coefficients I can get that from equation one quite easily non zero coefficients so how do I get non-zero coefficients for the input side and for the output side I have to get this so let me write this for the input for the input side where do I get the input side it is there in the numerator for the input side numerator what are the no non-zero coefficients so if I go up and check in equation number one it is 0.24x of n and 0.4 4x of n minus 1 so non-zero coefficients are 0 0.2 0 0.2 for x of n and 0.4 for x of n minus 1 correct similarly for the output side also I have to get the non-zero coefficients where is the output it is there in the denominator for the output side that is there in the denominator I have to look for the non-zero coefficients in the denominator so what is that it is 0.5 into z to the power minus 1 then hence the non-zero coefficient is 0.5 for y of n minus 1 y of n minus 1 so these are the non-zero coefficient this is as I said one of the very simplest numericals but only thing is we must know the concept of z transform I have explained this numerical step by step I hope you people have understood if still there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching